Welcome to the Historopedia channel. My name is Peter and today I'm going to tell you about an ancient world history. The Battle of Ipsus was fought in 301 BCA between the four successors of Alexander the Great, who had divided his empire following his death. The battle took place near the town of Ipsus in Phrygia, modern-day Turkey. The main participants were Cassander of Macedon, Lysimachus of Thrace, Seleucus I Nicator of the Seleucid Empire, and Ptolemy I Soter of Egypt. These four commanders had previously formed an alliance against Antigonus I Monophthalmus, who had declared himself the ruler of a unified empire and posed a threat to their individual territories. Antigonus, however, was not content with his own territory and began to expand his power at the expense of his rivals. He amassed a large army and marched towards Syria, which was controlled by Seleucus. The two armies met at Ipsus, where Antigonus' army consisted of 75,000 infantry and 10,000 cavalry, while the coalition army numbered around 70,000 soldiers. The battle was fought in typical Hellenistic fashion, with heavy use of infantry phalanxes and cavalry. The coalition army had the advantage of superior cavalry, which they used to outflank and break through the enemy lines. This allowed them to attack the enemy phalanx from the rear, causing panic and confusion among Antigonus' troops. Antigonus was killed in the fighting, and his son Demetrius Polyositz was captured. The coalition army emerged victorious and divided Antigonus' territory among themselves. Cassander took control of Macedonia, Lysimachus took Thrace, Seleucus took Syria, and Ptolemy retained control of Egypt. The Battle of Ipsus was significant because it marked the end of the Diadochi Wars, a series of conflicts between Alexander's successors. It also established the four major Hellenistic kingdoms that would dominate the Mediterranean world for the next two centuries, the Seleucid Empire, the Ptolemaic Kingdom the Kingdom of Macedon, and the Kingdom of Thrace. Thank you for listening. Stay tuned.